Channel 9's Josh Martin is here with me on campus. And the campus police chief really said they don't even know how many exact incidents of racism they're investigating. It's just so big. Yeah, Andrew, we do know that Syracuse police are handling the swastika in the snow that was found over on Comstock. We do know they're handling the incident we learned of today with the racist manifesto. But Bobby Maldonado did tell us that he can't really put a number on how many incidents there have been. He said it could be eight, said it could possibly be ten. Classes continue here at Syracuse University, though some professors have taken measures to have class either online or have cl canceled classes all together. We, as we've said, please do not believe at this point that, that there was any direct threat here on campus or off. Students here on campus and neighbors in our community have clamored for more information and more timely updates from police. We knew about last night's incident before the students here on campus did. But police caution, these are intense, complex investigations. Syracuse Police Chief Ken Buckner acknowledged the public's frustration today, but emphasized there is a process for police. I certainly want to make sure that everyone understands you don't fix this kind of stuff overnight uh, and it's very, very easy uh, to be on the outside looking in giving instructions on how to wrestle uh, an octopus. This, this is not easy stuff. Uh, and if we knew who was responsible for doing that, I can assure you we would have had them in custody. CPS Police Chief Maldonado did remind people that there is a $50,000 reward given by a generous donor for any information into any of these incidents. Syracuse Police and the Department of Public Safety plan on using this upcoming Thanksgiving break to reevaluate some of the things that have happened and have better resources for students when they return for finals. Live on Syracuse University campus, Josh Martin, News Channel 9.